and we're going to record this. All right, and now I'm going to pop over to my screen here. All right, guys, so check it out. So a couple things, and then I want to go over some training, but of course, I want to open this up. So if there's any questions right now as I'm going through stuff, feel free to drop them in the chat, and I'll make sure I get them. And then obviously, we have Benito and Joe on here as panelists. You guys will be able to unmute your mic if you have questions too. But check it out. A couple things. Number one, quick housekeeping or updates. A lot of the state-specific funnels still say 2022. I'm working on getting that updated this week. I've got the request into my development team. I'm just waiting for them to knock it out. But what I mean by that is if you come into your marketing system and you go to the lead capture page section, you're going to see a lot of these state-specific funnels in here. So for example, check out Arizona. You see right here where it says going solar in 2022. This will be updated to 2023. It'll probably be updated within like the next two hours or so, just so you know, I've got confirmation on that. So I know some of you guys have emailed about that. That will be updated for sure. We will have all these updated to 2023. So that's number one. The second thing is we are finalizing the ability, and I've got to chat with my program. I don't have a timeline on it yet, but I know we're almost there, where you guys are going to be able to hook up your own custom domain to the system. So what I mean by that is you might have like gosolarwithjoe.com, for example. You're going to be able to sync it up into your system, and then right here, so you guys all have a subdomain right now, right? So it might be like joe.runwithsolar.info. That would all go away and it would say go solar with joe.com slash and then whatever the funnel is. So that's going to do two things, really. One, it's going to give you guys even more of a personalization to the, the actual platform. But number two, when you're running ads, and I know so, some of you guys are running the snags with this, when you're going to set up your ads, uh, Facebook wants you to verify your domain. And with the subdomain, we can't really do that anymore. So you can still run ads. It's just the tracking is not as effective as it would be if you hook up your own custom domain um, and verify it. So if you're not really sure what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. If you do, you're probably understanding what I'm saying. But the main takeaway here is we are on the tail end of allowing you guys to have your own custom domain in here. And that will take control of all of these links. Third thing I wanted to share with you is the Zapier function is now live. I know a lot of y'all have asked me about uh, the Zapier function. So if you guys want to zap information, so like any leads that you drive through here, if you want to zap information out of this system to another CRM or anything like that, all you've got to do is just reach out to us and I can send you a link that will allow you to hook up your funnel to Zapier. So if you don't have Zapier, you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. If you do have Zapier, you're probably saying, oh, this is great. And guys, for those of y'all those of y'all that don't know what Zapier is, all it really means is, say, for example, like you loved this funnel right here, right? But you wanted to send this information out to, let's just say you used MailChimp or ActiveCampaign or Aweber or a text message marketing service or a dialer or something, and you wanted to push out leads that you generated through your Run With Solar account to some other platform, Zapier would allow you to do that. So you, you are able to do that. All you got to do is log in and just email us. Um, and I'll make sure I get you the invite link that you can use so you can set up Zapier. So that's the third thing. And then the fourth thing is, uh, I'm probably about a month out, I would say, I'm hoping that's the case, where I'm going to be launching actually a new version, essentially, of Run With Solar that's going to allow you guys to edit these pages completely. So right now, as you all know, a lot of these pages you can't edit. And a lot of these things we're working on, like we've, we've caught some people saying, hey, can we please get these, these images updated? These are like really old, not what solar panels look like. So we're working on all of that. But on top of that, I'm going to be rebuilding a lot of these funnels into the new software that we're building, which will allow you guys to be able to literally click and edit and change text and you know put a different image there. You can't do any of that really very easily on this system. So that's why I'm working right now to give you guys total flexibility because I know a lot of y'all love these pages, but there might be like a little something you want to change. So that will be possible. I'm hoping in about 30 days or so we've got that set up and I'll share that information with y'all. So those were some things I wanted to share uh, quickly. I do want to go into some lead generation techniques over the next 20 or so, 15, 20 minutes. But before I do that, I want to open up questions. If you guys have anything specific that you want to ask right now, feel free to chat or, or uh, message that, and I can answer those on the front end, and then I'll go through some of the training on 
the app and such. So are there any questions right now? Drop them in a chat or unmute yourselves if you guys want for any of the panelists on there. Yeah, I have a question. Uh, whenever I post like on Facebook, it always like tries to hide the post. Why, is, why does it do that? So are you, Benito, are you, when you're going to post on Facebook, are you grabbing one of your links and going to post it on Facebook? Yep. Okay. And at first it would, it would produce the whole page so people could read it. But now it kind of gives it like a quarter hidden page that nobody even considers them looking into. Yeah. So what could be happening, what we'll do is this, I would have to see exactly what's going on, but here, but here's what I'll tell you. I got some suggestions for you, Benito, but if after this call, if you're still having an issue, send over like a screen recording or something, email it to us. And if, if you need any help doing that, usually I just tell my, you know, my clients or people like you to take your phone out and just record, go and post it on your Facebook and show me visually what's happening so I can check into it and give you some suggestions. But what I will tell you, because that was a great question, whenever you're posting on Facebook, so I'll give you a hypothetical. I'm going to open my Facebook up. And guys, this is for everyone to really hear because a lot of y'all want to obviously post your links on Facebook and that's a good thing to do, but here's the best way to do it. So let me go ahead and do a screen share. So here's my Facebook, right? And let's just say you wanted to post the giveaway promo funnel. It can be any of these funnels, by the way, but any of these funnels say you wanted to post on your Facebook or wherever, really, for that matter, your LinkedIn, it doesn't really matter. So you want to first click the link open, grab the link right here and click on copy. Now, what a lot of people would do is they would come over to Facebook here and they would type right here and they would put the link in. And this is not how you want to post anything ever. I mean, this, you know, has a nice, good, clean image and it's got a little enter to win and all that kind of stuff. But this really isn't what you should be doing. What you should instead be doing is something like this. You always, always, always want to, when you're ever you're posting a link, especially get a custom image on here too. So here's what I would do, right? So follow me on this. I want to post this link because I want to generate leads. And I want to advertise this little solar giveaway promo. So option one is I could post something just like this, which is not very good to do. What would be better is check out what I'm doing here. So watch my, my screen. I'm going to take my phone out and I'm going to open up this or I'm going to open up the funnel right here. So here it is. And now I'm going to turn around and I'm going to grab my phone. I'm going to turn my camera on and I'm going to point right to here. So check this out. So I literally just snapped a picture of me with this in the background. Now, this is just an example, but what I'm now gonna do is I'm going to, to pass this image to my computer. So I'm gonna get it on my computer, or you could just do this on your phone too, but check this out. So let me go ahead and grab this image. One second. So now look what I'm gonna do on my post. I'm gonna click to add a photo. I'm gonna click add photo. I'm going to go to downloads and you see, you could probably see my screen here. It's popping up right here. If it loads sometimes to time today, that is, but guys, while it's loading, basically what I'm getting at here is you always, here it is. You always want to post an image like this. Anytime you're posting a link, because it's going to give you better engagement. I'm not sure why it's not showing. Give me one sec. Let me click again. Let's see if this works. All right, so I'm not sure why the image is not showing. It could be something to do with the screen recording, but basically, oh, here it is. So here you go. Now we're still not done, but, but here's what I've got going for me right now. One, this image will grab people's attention much better than the image you just saw before because people are going to be scrolling through their newsfeed and saying, what the heck is that? They're going to stop and they're going to see this image and then they're likely going to go ahead and read. So the second thing I want to focus on doing is not just putting... Hold on a minute, this link, let me just erase it for right now. So now I'm going to want to also write some text. So what I might do is something like this. Hey, all, I am running a giveaway for anyone. Actually, no, let's do this. This is going to be even better. Does anyone want me to pay their electric bill this month? So guys, like I've been, you know, writing copy, basically like, right. And when I say writing copy, I mean, creating posts and stuff like that for a while. So some of this stuff comes a little bit quicker to me. So you might be like, be like, oh man, that's a pretty clever way to open up a, uh, a post, right? 
So you got to just put some thought into this. But I always like to lead with a question like this. And by the way, what I'm showing you right now will make for great organic posts on your Facebook and Instagram. But guys, these also make for really good Facebook and Instagram ads. So check this out. Does anyone want me to pay their electric bill this month? I am running a really cool promo uh, for anyone that wants a chance to win. Step one, go to the link in comments and fill out the quick solar survey. It's only 60 seconds, or it'll, let's say it'll take you 60 seconds. It'll take you 60 seconds. Hey, hold on a minute. I'm going to actually, I, I just realized, guys, then I'm going to come back to this. I just want to live stream this on, um, I want to live stream this on Facebook. Hold on a minute. And I'm going to come back to this. Give me one sec. And then you're going to love where I'm going with this. So I'm going to just go live on my page. Okay, we're good. All right, I'm going live. Let me just get this live because I'm, I'm dropping some heat here, folks, you know? So I want everyone to be able to see this. So hold on a minute. Just preparing the live stream. want to make sure it's going live and then we're going to be good to go. Okay, great. We're on. All right, let me come back to my screen now. That's all I need to do. Okay, so back to here. Step one, go to the link in the comments and fill out the quick solar survey. It'll take you uh, 60 seconds. And then step two, and I'll explain what I mean by the whole uh, link in comments. Step two, just for entering... Or no, we'll say step two, watch your phone slash email, and I'll alert you if you've won. Good luck. And if you have any questions, just reach out to me here. Okay, so a couple of things we did. Number one, we started with a question. Number two, we explained very quickly what this is, and then I gave people a step-by-step -step instructions. I also made sure to not put the link in my post right here. Here's why I didn't do this. If you're not running a Facebook ad, Facebook doesn't like when you send people off of Facebook. Why? Because they don't make money anymore. People, Facebook makes money when people are on Facebook, right? So that's why I always recommend if you guys are ever putting a post up, always put the link in the comments because that helps that post stay uh driving a little bit more in the newsfeed as opposed to putting it in here. That's why I wrote, fill out the quick solar survey or go to the link in the comments and fill out the quick solar survey. So what I would do is I would post this and then right after I would put in the comments, I would write something like link to the giveaway and then I would paste the link in there. Does that make sense? Give me a hand raise if you guys are following me here with, with what I'm saying on that. Awesome, thank you. I see the, the hand raise is going. So this will make for a very good, strong, organic post on Facebook and on Instagram. But here's the cool thing. Guys, you can use this as an ad too. You can use this when you're creating an ad. And I walk you guys through how to create ads, obviously, on this page right here. Run with solar.info slash learn. If you go here and you get to the step where I walk you through how to actually get some leads uh, being built and you go to the Access Facebook Ads training page, I give you stuff that you guys can run as ads, but this kind of stuff too works really, really well. So my goal here is to teach you how to fish, but then you go create your own ads on top of it. So imagery and stuff of you will work very well because it's what I like to call a scroll stopper. And you always need to think about that. So hear me on this. Before you ever post anything on your social media or you're ever running an ad, think to yourself, is this going to be a scroll stopper? In other words, will this make people stop scrolling? Would it make you stop scrolling? That's why I'm leveraging my face here. When people see like a close-up of your face, they're like, whoa, what's going on? So make sure you really try and use things like that to get people's attention. And that in turn will help you generate leads for your solar business, right? So anyway, so that's a really big one. I did want to answer that. So Benito, I'm glad you asked that question. I kind of took that and used it as a training piece for this. But Benito, does this make sense as far as a really good proper way of posting? Yes. Awesome, brother. Thank you. So guys, that's number one, get creative with this. And the second thing is get very consistent with it. That's why what I'll tell you is try and post like at minimum three, four times a week or so. I mean, once a day is great, 
but three or four times a week on your Facebook and on your Instagram. And I know you can't just keep posting stuff about this funnel, right? But that's okay. Maybe what you want to do next time you're door knocking is get a picture of you when you're walking, knocking doors and put that picture up and say, walking around town, helping people eliminate their utility bill. Question, if you have any questions on this, DM me, right? Or inbox me. And you put that post up. And then maybe you put up a picture of an install day as long as the homeowner is cool with it. Get a picture of the install happening. And then maybe another post is you getting a short video of the client you just served or got an install done with. You get a video testimonial from them. You get the idea, but these are the kind of things that work very well, but you've got to stay consistent with it. And so it's very difficult to be able to, to see success with a system, an online system of any sort, if you're not doing that too. And here's why. Yes, you can just run ads and not do any of this, but it's not going to be super effective for you. And here's why. You've got to constantly be showing up. You're going to get results through this. And half of these posts that you put up organically make for very good Facebook and Instagram ads. So what I've been busy doing, and I want to share with you guys my profile because I think it'll kind of give you some ideas. What I've been busy doing is I've been posting stuff that relates to my main business. So a lot, of, a lot of the stuff I do is I teach people how to start their own marketing agency, their own software agency, et cetera. So if you notice, here's a reel I made. Here's a little funny reel that I put up. Here's another reel that I made. And I'm putting these posts up like this. Here's another one because I'm catering to my target audience. So what you guys might want to do on top of the post I just showed you is you might want to put some things up like, hey, here's three tips to save on your electric bill, right? And literally, you could post something just like what I'm doing here. And it's just a video of you talking about three things that you could do or someone could do to help with their electric bill. Number one, get energy efficient bulbs. Number two, put your, your outside lighting on a timer, right? So it goes off at three o'clock in the morning or whatever. Number three, make sure your house is properly insulated. Number four, get conscious about turning off lights. Number, you know, you get the idea, but guys, you could literally make a video or an image. Like if you were talking about, remember consciously to turn your lights off, get a picture of you turning off a light switch and post that on social media. And if you keep doing that stuff consistently, I guarantee you, you will get people to reach out to you because they keep seeing it. And they keep seeing you as the expert and they say, you know what, let me hit up uh, Joe uh, or let me hit up Joseph or let me hit up you know, Ryan, or let me hit up David or Alan or whoever. This guy has been doing solar. I've been getting a ton of value from him. I'm open to hearing what solar could do for me. And so that's a very good way of using uh, consistent marketing to help you guys generate leads for your solar business. So that this, this call and what I just taught went a little bit of a different direction than what I was planning. But what I just said Guys, it's not like this is may, may or may not work. I know this works because I have clients that do this. I do it for my own stuff. It doesn't really matter what you're selling. Showing up consistently on social media will work, but you've got to plan these things out and you've got to execute on it and you will get people to reach out on top of running ads with the system and doing all the other stuff that we teach inside of it. But if you do all these things together, you're going to have some results uh, from it. And one last tip I'll share with you on this, and then we'll get into just a couple other little things here is... I always like to plan my posts out on Sunday morning. For me, that just works because I've got two young daughters at home and my wife. And so on Sunday morning, I get up earlier and I have my coffee before everyone else gets up. And I think, what am I going to post this week? So a lot of times you guys are going to be out and about. You're moving a million miles a second. We're all go-getters here, right? So you're going to have things that come up in the week that you're going to be able to post. Like you're going to have a great experience with someone you just door knocked, you have a conversation you had. And you might want to create a post around that, but do a good job planning ahead of time because then posts become easier for you to put up. So for me, I plan on Sunday and then half of the content I'm able to get done on the beginning of the week to then get out on social media. That way I'm never sitting there last minute scratching my head saying, crap, what am I going to post today? So it's just like anything else. If you don't plan, you're going to plan to fail. So hopefully that made some sense to you. Um, but that's a really, really big, good tactic. And here's the cool thing. It's free to do and it's highly effective. You just got to do it. So anyways, wanted to share that. Um, any other questions you guys have? Chat. 
unmute yourself. Let me know. Uh, I love this, this open-ended stuff though. I think it really helps you guys get some value. So any other questions out there? I think only Joe and Benito can really unmute, but Ryan, Fred, David, Alan, I see you guys on here. If you want to chat any question in, um, I am happy to answer them. I want to make sure you guys can chat. Yeah, you guys should be good to chat. All right. So if not, then that's good. Any other questions, if they come up, just chat them. One thing I do want to talk about is, let me go back over to here. All right. So knock on doors. You guys know to do that. I'm not going to have to you know, tell you, but go do that. Start posting on social media. We really just talked about that. Here are some other ideas. Walking from door to door. We went through all this stuff. Um, one thing I would do want to show you is talking about the app. Just give me one second here. I'm going to pop my app open. Do. All right. All right. Let me pop my app open, share screen. So, guys, this is another one that it's just it's consistency. This is what you're going to have to do on this one. So, check this out. By the way, you guys have the app downloaded. Give me a hand raise if you've got the app downloaded. Okay, cool. Hey, by the way, quick side note while I pull this up, did you guys get a push notification this morning saying solar zoom today at 10 a.m.? Give me a hand raise if you got that. Okay, cool. We're still working on a couple of glitches. You might have got it like three or four times. I apologize for that. And it might look a little bit wonky. We're working on the bug of that. But anyways, uh, that's the plan. I'm going to keep pushing notifications and updates. So if you guys don't have the app, make sure you, you go download it. Uh, all right. So anyways, I'm going to open up my Run With Solar app. Okay, so here it is. So a couple things real quick, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this in uh, about five minutes or so, and then we'll drop the recording out there. And then any questions, of course, you guys email, but check it out. Right inside of here, as far as social media goes, we just talked about images, pictures, things like that that you can take to help you guys fill this and try and get a post out every day. Feel free to lean on the material inside the Run With Solar app. So right in, in the center of my screen, you're going to see a button that says social media. And if you click on that, you're going to see square imagery and you're going to see story imagery. This is all imagery that you guys can use to post to your social media channels to help you fill some of those gaps when you don't have an image to post. So for example, check this one out. This is obviously tall because it's formatted for story. So drastically reduce or even eliminate your electric bills start this month. So you could post this out on your social media in between the posts that you're putting out, right? So that's an example. You also are going to see if we go over here to our image gallery and you look at square imagery, this is imagery that you're going to want to post to like your Instagram and your Facebook, et cetera. So you can see like same image, but this one is square, right? And I've even given you the, co the, the copy that you can literally copy and paste and actually post right to your Facebook page. So that's a really good way of doing that. So all you got to do to do this is click on share this image you're gonna click on save image and then click on this copy text button right here. And then what you can do is you can open up your Facebook. You can click on what's on your mind, click on photo. You can click on this and then you can click on paste and look at what we got going on here, boom. So you might wanna edit some of these things, but you get the idea. And then you can go ahead and you can post that. So I did wanna share that. That is definitely an option. I highly recommend you use these posts in between the posts that you're putting out there. And then the last thing that I wanted to share before we wrap up here is right in the center of my screen under business building, you see send a message to a prospect and then send a custom link. Guys, this is really, really big for you to once again, take consistent action. None of this works if you don't take action. But if you click on send a message to a prospect, we've got some really cool scripts in here that you guys can utilize to go ahead and get conversations open with people about solar. So for example, you might want to reach out to a friend or a neighbor or someone, and there's scripts in here that you can utilize. So I'll give you a hypothetical. Let's just say that Joe, Joseph Crawford is my neighbor. He lives in my town. I know him because our daughters play soccer together or whatever, right? I can basically go ahead. Let's just say I had Joe's number. I can select Joe in here. So I'm going to pretend Joe's prospect. And I'm going to click on this. What type of heat do you have? Now to the right of it, there's a blue paper icon. Let's click on it. And you can see here is a script that I can send out to Joe. Hey, Joe, quick question. Do you have electric or natural gas propane heat at your house? I'm doing some market research in the local area. I'm a solar consultant. Ha ha. Let me know. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. If I send this out to Joe and he says, I've got gas or I've got propane or whatever it might be, 
I could say, awesome, man, I appreciate that. Have you ever thought about um, saving money or even eliminating your electric bill? Question mark. So these scripts are just designed to help you guys get the conversation going. So if I wanted to use this script, which by the way, you can always edit beforehand. If I click on this little button and I click on text message, I can now go ahead and edit this text message as much as I want before I send it to Joseph. That's the idea here. So once again, guys, these scripts are super powerful to use to get conversations open with people, but they're not going to magically send themselves, right? You've got to send them. So I always tell my consultants, guys, send two text messages a day. If you send, and I'm going to come back to me, if you send two texts a day, you post on social media, you're knocking on doors and you're running ads. Do you think you're going to see results in your solar business? Yeah, 100%. But it's a grind, but the grind is worth it, right? The dream is free, but the hustle is sold separately. So anyways, uh, Alan asked, so the best way to contact you directly is how I have to leave at 1030. Alan, I'm going to drop the email. I half the time am the one managing this email. So you can email support at boldmindagency.com. But actually, what's even better is for you guys to message us on Facebook. So all you got to do to do that is on Facebook, just find the Run With Solar page. It's just RWS. I'll drop the link in the chat here in a minute. But anyways, if you just go to RWS Solar Lead Gen software, all right, just go ahead and message us right here. You also can do this by in your back office. If you go to my marketing pages and go to main links here, you're going to see contact support there's a link right to the uh, Facebook page here. Message us 90% of the time. I'm the one answering those messages so I can send voice messages back to you guys, et cetera. So that's how you would um, go ahead and contact me. So anyways, with all that being said, uh, hold on, let me drop the chat, the, the page. So this is the Facebook page. Guys, I appreciate your time. I appreciate you being a customer. I'm excited for the future. We've got a lot of really cool stuff going on. Uh, and if there's anything else I can do, just reach out via email or chat and we'll go from there. All right, my friends, have a wonderful rest of your week. Of course, hit me up to the top. I appreciate all y'all. We'll talk in a bit. Bye-bye. Thanks, Charles. You got it, guys. See ya.